All right, all right, everyone, and welcome in. I am Coatsy Day. And I am Make Way for Cat, and welcome to the Coatsy and Cat Chat. Hey! We did it first try! <laughs> Yay! You're right, like, we are seasoned now. I, <laughs> we are professionals. I like, did I say Coatsy correctly? <laughs> I did, I said Coatsy correctly. You did it! You did it! <laughs> You're a master. <laughs> <laughs> Forgive me oh, if, gosh. I, if I go back. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Oh, gosh. So what have you been playing the past Ooh. couple of weeks? So last time we talked, you were like knee deep in Chef RPG, and I finally got into Chef RPG. And nice. I'm what are your thoughts? Obsessed. Absolutely obsessed. <laughs> um, I love the it. Only, the only thing I don't like is those data cells. Or power cells, power cells, I think oh, is what they're called. Oh, yeah. Um, you can only get them from the um, request boards. So I'm at oh, the point. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I'm at the point in my game where I can't do anything until I get those. So I'm just save scrubbing until I get a day where they show up and then I do the quest, turn it in, get my power cells, go back to bed, and then save scrub again until I get the next round. So I haven't been able to record anything because it's just that boring bit. So. <laughs> going over, over and over and over again. again. Yeah. See, I haven't yeah. even reached that part yet. I um, think I got like to like four rich episodes before, before people started wanting, wanting to move on to, on to other games. games. And, and so, so I just kind of followed. Kind of followed. Plus, Spooky, 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 Spooky season came along. Yeah. So, so I started playing, playing other things. things. And um, what I've, I've been playing, playing a lot. Because everyone keeps voting for it all the time. I know. I'm a graveyard keeper. surprised it's been like really it last week it tied with traveler's rest and i was like begging people to like please break the tie <laughs> but it's still one it's still one out it's such a great and game this though. is the first it really is um and this is the first time i'm playing on steam which means i get the fourth dlc on it called better save soul mm -hmm. and it's really interesting i get to see smiler and I don't remember who the other guy, Auric or something like that. I think it's I Yurik. just cleaned up his little cellar room. <laughs> you're right. It's Yurik. Mm -hmm. You're right. You're right. Um, but yeah, I've been making a lot of progress and everything. And it's been really interesting and fun. So <laughs> it's always interesting and fun. <laughs> I'm, I'm certain they'll be doing another live stream or two of Graveyard Keeper before the month's out. Absolutely. As you should. Any good mm -hmm. spooky season should have some Graveyard Keeper in it. 100%. Any good spooky season. <laughs> Anything else have you been playing? I will sing from the rooftops about Wimmel Academy. Let me tell you something. Yes, please. I love it. So I, I haven't been, playing been able... That one. Yeah, I haven't been able to play it. Oh, yeah, I wanted to ask you questions. So I'll tell you my experience real quick, and then I'm going to... I I, I want to hear yours so badly. The route sure, I'm playing... Sure, let's go. Yeah, the route I'm playing right now is a going heavy into herbology potions like the whole knowledge reasoning track bit and obviously mm -hmm. i'm pursuing theo um <laughs> he nice. did not show up in the entire third year which had me nervous but what and, yeah i don't know if it was a bug <laughs> or something it had me nervous because he was making comments about possibly like maybe he could be like sick or cursed or we we do know that he's probably an orphan based on conversations he had with, uh, gosh, purple guy. I can't stand him. I can't remember his uh, name. Cyrus. 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 Yeah, that guy. Blech. Anyway. <laughs> um, I love your absolute disgust for him. I, I can't stand him. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, he hasn't shown up. And I'm thinking it's just a bug because on their Steam page, and this blew my mind, they have like images from mm -hmm. the game and I, I saw a picture of Theo and I was like, why does this look different? And I realized it's like in a, a more grown up image of them. So I think over the course of like the six years that this game goes, they're going to grow up, which is great. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's fantastic. See, I didn't realize they looked more childlike at first. I mm -hmm. thought it was just the style of drawing until Same. you actually shared those photos with me. And yeah. then I was like, 
I feel weird now. Yeah. <laughs> Can we get uh, to the part where they're grown up? <laughs> I didn't think about that because I haven't played it since I sent you those photos. So, I oh, haven't man. either, but I was also still like, that's kind of what turned me like, I started looking at other games. Also, I just, life got overwhelming and also Next Fest. But um, yes. I, one of the main reasons I haven't gone back is because it was like, I feel so weird about this now because these are like 13, 14 year olds. I am now yeah. coming to realize. And that makes me feel icky. <laughs> like, that makes me feel so icky. And I understand that my character is supposed to be that age too. But yes. at the same time, what did we talk about before? Age yes. appropriate thirst. We need <laughs> the age appropriate thirst. And I understand that this is supposed to be kind of like a, you know, Harry Potter Hogwarts kind of like yes. cute um, game narrative version of it. But like, still, it just, it just made me feel the ick a little bit and I'll still go back, back and play. Cause I love it. It's wonderful. I love the gameplay loop and I am going to record it and po uh, post it out there. I don't care if it gets views or not. Like I just love it. hundred percent. We're going down like a really similar route. Cause I'm doing oh, really? herbology potions and healing. Yeah. Ah, healing. Yes. That's yeah. the main one I'm actually going for. And I can't believe I forgot <laughs> to say it. And it's so hard to up your skill in healing. It is so difficult. No, it's not. Because you Did don't have a study. You don't have a study for it. All you can do is the job yep. and then the classes. No. That's all you can do for it. You need to no? level up. You know the the Forbidden Forest? Yeah, the for I, I've, I've opened the forest, yeah. Okay. Well, what year are you on, first of all? I think I'm beginning three. Okay. I because I don't think or I'm I in the this, middle of three. I can't remember. I don't think I did this until year three. But if you level up, there's like that deer, that white deer looking thing standing in the distance and you could do like animal handling with them. Yeah. If you upgrade that, that will also give you healing. <gasps> yeah. So one of the things I'm discovering <laughs> is when you upgrade... You can actually upgrade your different like jobs and study tables and all those things and they'll it changes what it gives you. I didn't realize it changes what it gave you. I thought it just stayed on the same things. Oh, nope. I <laughs> OMG. Okay, I have to go. I have to go back and do that now. I didn't realize that because I know my animal handling has gone up specifically because cat. Yes. Because Darjeeling my little darling oh, cat. Darjeeling. Oh. But isn't that so cute? One of the one of my subscribers uh suggested that name and I was like that is too cute. I have to. Aww. Um and so obviously that that ups your kindness and your animal handling. I don't think that one changes. Um but I've gotten it up that one upgraded so it's giving me even more skill points on those two consistently. Um, so I think I can actually probably upgrade that deer right away. So, oh man, I'm so excited to go back and do that. Yes. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Thank you for that tip. My gosh. I didn't even know. Yeah. I had no clue. I'm pursuing Daisy because herbology. She's so sweet. So. She's like, she's, she's like my so bestie. Sweet. My yes. bestie. She's wonderful. I haven't really, um, dove in too far into the relationships yet. I've kind of been like going really hard at just the herbology potions and um healing mm -hmm. so i haven't really dove too far into those oh i will say there are some healing books too yes i've yes, only I think found I've one. come across like one or two yeah mm -hmm. one or two and that's it so far but then there's also a potions one and i haven't seen a herbology yep. one i don't think yet i think so. i did have a herbology one Maybe I just missed it, or maybe I'm just misremembering, because that's well, totally I, possible. But You buy them from the shop, so it could be RNG whether or not you find it anyway. True. True, true, true. But yeah, so we both love Wimmel Academy, if y'all haven't picked up on that. <laughs> I think it's a riot that you and I have almost identical paths that we've gone. No, they are pretty much identical. Right. That's I wanna, so funny. I want to play a second playthrough where I go, there was like the music, the smithing, and the art track. I want to see how that goes. Mm -hmm. Like, I, mm -hmm. I want to see. And maybe... I want to um, do the cooking. Yeah? I want to do cooking um, and alchemy. I want to do cooking and alchemy, I think, next time. You don't yeah. want to do alchemy because nope. Cyrus. Yep. <laughs> I was just about to say that. To I was just about to say that. <laughs> that guy can... Yeah. Anyway. Like an egg. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> that's my like non insult insult. <laughs> you can yeah. go suck an egg. <laughs> I don't care about him too much, but I find it hilarious that you like are so repulsed by him. I can't stand him. Um, so but funny. I also think it's it seems appropriate, right? That they're not because I've I've been like doing as much talking to other people as I can, but like. Mm -hmm. you're only you only get to like maybe friends by the end of the first year and then friends in like the second year and then um i don't know it's like it's like a slow progression of relationships so i it's very cross. slow it doesn't seem like yeah. any like romantic stuff will happen until you're much further on and please please yeah and you please. have to <laughs> pay attention to upping skills in certain things too yeah otherwise you don't get the opportunity for the real boosters in yep. friendship storyline or yep. the more detailed storylines it seems like i get so, so sad when i i get one of those options and i can't click any of them mm -hmm. i've run into those more often now because they have to be like level three yeah. i think it is it's like patience kindness socialization courage is one um you could really yeah, they're get all them. over the place. Yeah, you could really get them from any any of them. And there's like what, like mm -hmm. like twenty four of them total of those s different skill tracks. And for those of you guys that yeah, are listening, they're all over. And don't know Wimmel Academy. Wimmel Academy is like it's a Harry Potter. It's like a, a magic school. But there's like twenty four different attributes that you can um, focus on getting. Whether or not you want to be a combat specialist or do flying or work mm -hmm. on your knowledge or potions like we are animal handling healing like any of them and yeah. there's 30 different 30 endings. different routes endings yeah that you can go and you can and it's yep, technically yep. partly a romance sim too because you can end up something like that with any of the, i haven't gotten to the end to yeah. know how it goes but um it's like a choose your own adventure harry potter meets like really cute like soft um narrative like game world yeah and it's a very say. it's a very easy game like there's no you don't move characters oh, yeah. super you just easy. super it's chill. just like click it's like click 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 mm -hmm. i want to learn this mm -hmm. we're gonna go do this we're gonna go to this and it's I, I, I will say attend enough classes so you can get your scholarship at the end of the year because that gives you a money boost yes um, so. and as theo will tell you you don't have to attend every class i skip all combat classes mm -mm. i skip all flying classes and i still get my scholarship at the end of the year <laughs> i skip all classes except for the ones that have to do with my particular like section of study now yes i skip all of them and then i go and just do independent study in um the ward which is like the healing area or yep, in same. the greenhouse um same. and i just do that now I don't even do anything else. Coatsy and I so, are going to become magical yep. doctors. Yeah, we are. <laughs> Bestie. <laughs> and I'm going to marry the next school headmaster. And I think Coatsy is going to marry a um, a chef. The next herbology <laughs> teacher. No, it's the next herbology teacher. She's, She's going to take chef. over herbology. Oh, you yeah, think? that's true. She is also a chef. Yeah, you can go to tea with her. Yes, I, I do tea really parties cute. with her. Mm -hmm. She's Super my bestie. Fun. <laughs> <laughs> i'm not close with anyone else <laughs> oh, really? anyone else. i have not socialized i've mostly just been like grinding on skills <laughs> i've been i've been also I'm like terrible i've been doing like friendship with lumi as well um yes I don't know there's a few times where you can actually get multiple people in so like there was one time yeah where i was talking to lumi and then it brought daisy in and then I was talking mm -hmm. to Lumi, mm -hmm. and it brought Theo in, um, and mm -hmm. learned some really wild stuff. Uh, yeah, I've had a Theo and Lumi one, and I've also had a Cyrus and Lumi one, and then a, a Cyrus and what's her name? I'm forgetting Ida. right now. Iana? No. Ida. Um, huh? Ida. Is it Ida? Yeah, I think it is Ida. Uh, yeah, I think it is Ida. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the red hair hammer girl, um, forger. Yep. Yeah. Yep. The Smith. So anyways, <laughs> so today our topic <laughs> is not just Wimmel Academy, I promise. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Although we could talk about this forever. Um, it's actually on backlogs, <laughs> oh. our backlogs and how we process them, what gets picked first, what gets released, blah, 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 and how they are a mile long. <laughs> They're so long. Oh my gosh. 
Okay, so I have 142 games currently in my wish list. <laughs> I have I actually just deleted a couple. I haven't I'm so bad at keeping my wish list up to date. Uh I was Same. 133 last I checked, but like there's mm-hmm. still games from this next fest, last next fest and wholesome games oh, yeah. over the summer that I have not added in here yet. <laughs> So yep. I don't, I yep. don't know. Well, and that doesn't even include the games that I've gotten and I just haven't played yet. Same. Like, I'm really bad about that, actually. I am so bad about just like picking up a game that I think looks amazing and I get really excited about and then something else like catches my fancy or I just want to play something like chill because I've had like a rough time of it, IRL or something like that. And I just want something mm. familiar and fun. So yeah. Yeah, it's just it's just all over the place. Um, but I know there's got to be I don't even know how many games I have, but there's got to be at least 50. There's got to be at least 50, mm-hmm. which is insane to say. <laughs> so crazy. Oh, gosh, I'm terrible. <laughs> but that's also kind of like brings me to what makes it fun when I'm able to do toss up Tuesday and like dive into that backlog. And playing yeah. like just random things. But and it seems like it's actually been like a really fun thing for people watching me too. Like they've actually enjoyed a lot of them. Like um, Moonlighter was one of them that was in my backlog for like a while, and it was just a random like poll, and they picked that one, and it did really well. So I don't nice. know. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> but um, first line we're going to talk about what is the backlog and what our li- ours looks like well we kind of already did that next up is top five picks on our backlog okay. list the notes i have in there so, are wrong so sorry in advance <laughs> <laughs> no it's fine it's fine so um i'll go first i have a few on here um i have a few for each like section but like bow mm-hmm. path of the teal lotus um no nine souls and ogu and the secret forest those are all rpg platformers yes or like puzzle action adventure games that are i'm not really sure would do very well in the channel like i i think i've thrown Bol- uh bow path of the teal lotus in there um on a pole or something before but i don't remember um but i would love to be able to get the chance to play these they're just not like the usual type that i play right on channel but they are they're gorgeous they look super fun and cute um or at least ogu and the secret forest look super cute the other two look like just gorgeous and like they have a Mm -hmm. really fun storyline but they're all platformers which i know a lot of people who watch me don't really enjoy platforming very much i hate platforming Um, (laughs) (laughs) i know you do although (laughs) you're like i'm not on this i'm not on this train (laughs) Ogo in the Secret Forest is less of a platformer and more like a link to the past. It's that kind of like puzzle style. Yeah. Yeah. I played the demo for that one and it's great. So I I definitely agree with you there. And it's one of those ones I think that was um, on the great on deck list. Mm -hmm. If I'm remembering correctly, I might be wrong, Um, but I think it was one of the ones that was great on deck. So it's a really good one for controller playing on Steam Deck. Etc. But um, yeah, this I, I want to say like platformers or like the puzzle action adventure, um, like Ogu in the Secret Forest. Those are like my OG loves, like from childhood. Childhood with like all the Zeldas and Mario yeah. games that I used to play on like Super Mario, N sixty four, we all that. Like those are the ones I originally fell in love with and used to play. Gosh, what was one of them? Um, that I used to play, it was um, not Animaniacs. What was the, one? gosh, it was, maybe it was Animaniacs. Um, but it was like, uh, Roger, not Roger Rabbit, um, Bugs Bunny. It was a bunch of those characters, you know, like from that era. Mm-hmm. And it was a platformer. Gosh, I'm going to have to look that up now. Dang it. <laughs> I remember Aladdin. I have to look it up. Aladdin on you the Super Aladdin? Nintendo was my platformer oh, that yes. I, we played a lot. Yes, mm-hmm. that's right. I'm I'm typing it out. Um, <laughs> I have to look now. No, it's not Animaniacs. Um, 
Bugs Bunny. No, that's Rabbit Rampage. This isn't um what it was. What was that era though? What was that called? Like what what um Super Nintendo? No, 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 no. The It's not WB. Warner Brothers, right? Um Warner Brothers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um mm -hmm. Warner Brothers. <clears throat> I'm I know Warner Brothers, Super Nintendo game. Oh, my word. There's so many. I, this is going to take too long. I think, but like, but like, that's like the type of thing I used to dive into when I was younger. And I am, this is going to be one of those ones that I'm like obsessively having to look into until I figure it out. Because I remember that there was like Mickey Mouse in there too. There was a Mickey Mouse one that was a platformer. Oh. Yeah. Yep. Um, yeah, there was a bunch of different ones, but yeah, you're like, I know what you're talking about. Don't remember what it was called, but I know what you're mm -hmm. talking about. <laughs> a lot of the games in that era were that just platformers like that. Yeah, yeah. Well, it is um, Tiny Toons, maybe? Oh, Tiny Toons Adventures? I, don't know. I love Tiny Toons. Yes. Yep. Tiny Toons Adventures. I think that might be it for the um, Warner Brothers one. <clears throat> that but sounds I just right. remember, and it was so much fun. Um. But and I think the other one was like Mickey Mouse. Now I have to look. That's it's not the magical <laughs> quest. It's not the magical quest. Oh, maybe it is. That's Mickey Mania. Gosh, guys, I'm going down a rabbit hole. But this is so nostalgic right now. This is ridiculous. Hopefully, we're I cannot believe tickling it. All of your nostalgia bones right now. <laughs> I think it is magical quest. Right, actually, I think it is actually mag magical quest. This looks super familiar. Oh my gosh, yes. This is tickling my nostalgia like bones so badly. Anyways, we can stop now. We can stop now. We can move on. But yeah, those were like my original loves, like my OG games mm -hmm. that I fell in love with were all of these platformers and then like the puzzle action adventure. So they hit that sweet spot for me. I still love them today. I don't hate platformers like you do. <laughs> I don't so, hate platformers. Um, I still I'm love just falling terrible. into them. I'm terrible at You're platformers. Terrible. You did great yeah. at Chain Together, though. <laughs> I have no idea how. <laughs> Maybe I'm better at them. Oh, though, gosh. <laughs> but anyways, what are what's your first set? Um, The first one in my backlog that I is Bloomtown. I have it. I just oh. haven't had a chance to play it yet. I I really enjoyed oh, the demo. Wait. Yeah, the demo was great. I, I'm a little like. I don't really enjoy um, turn-based RPGs anymore, but right. I still want to give it that. a fair shot. Yeah. So Bloomtown is number one on my backlog. Especially since it. it's spooky season. It's so appropriate right now. It is. It's very appropriate right now. So appropriate right now. <laughs> oh, gosh. I feel like I went on so much and you're just like, concise. <laughs> my bad. It's all good. It's all good. Um, then I have a couple on here. The Wild at Heart. And then another one is Prune and Milo. And these are games that looked so cute and lovely. And I recently discovered them um, and got them on sale via Steam. So Prune and Milo, I actually discovered, I believe it was through the same developers of Farlands. So Farlands mm -hmm. came out in EA um, and I really enjoyed that, really enjoyed that game and that experience. And so I looked into the devs a little bit more and Prune and Milo, it came out not long ago. I, I, I don't remember when it came out, but um, it was sometime this year and it looked super cute, super interesting. It's kind of more of an action adventure, action adventure, like dungeon crawler, um, puzzle one. And then Wild at Heart just looks beautiful. And that one actually has, like, I think more of a spooky theme as well, or like a sadder theme. Ooh. It's kind of a mix of narrative and adventure. So it looks really, really cute. Um, but yeah, so those are ones that I just discovered and they looked really adorable or really fun and got them on sale on Steam. So those are up there in my backlog, too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, then I've got a double one for you, too. Yes. <laughs> Give me more. Echo, 
Echoes of Plum Grove and Ever After Falls. And these are both, they're both like farm sim type games. They're kind of unique in, in the genre. And I have played both of them on stream on my channel. And like, I just, I want to get back to them eventually, but I just have not. I don't really right. know how else to say right. it. Where's the time? So it was yeah. Echoes of the Plum Grove. And then what was the other one? Ever After Falls. Ever After Falls. Yes. I love mm -hmm. both of those so much. You and I played I a lot of Ever After so Falls. Mm -hmm. Yes, we did. We need to play more. We do. <laughs> if we, we do. could get it to work. We can't get it to work. Oh, That's yeah. The, the multiplayer. Mm -hmm. Well, the cross-platform and the multiplayer. Yeah. Oh, so annoying. But I think it's because it's supposed to be built for couch co-op. Specifically, yeah, so. like two players on the same console. So that's kind of the issue with that. But yep, yep, yep. Um, also, Echoes of the Plum Grove, just so good. Just so it good. is. And I, I haven't even made it to the first winter yet. You didn't? I thought I totally thought you made it. I totally I thought think you finished I'm still your first in year. fall. No, no, I think I'm still in fall. Wow. I got married. I had no idea. I think we had our first kid. And then that's as far as I got. I, I'm pretty oh, certain so I'm still in fall. Oh, so you haven't even gone. You haven't even like um, become one of your children yet. Like no, one of your offspring. Oh, nope. Okay, okay. Gotcha. You definitely need to go back and do that. Then. I do absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I will say, there's so much on our plates for spooky season. So probably after spooky season. <laughs> uh, Wimmel Academy has my heart right now. I love Wimble Academy. <laughs> I love it, love it, love it. But we have so many demos. We have Traveler's Rest, which I think the holiday event just rolled out on Friday. Um, and I then think it's upcoming there's... Friday, right? Is it upcoming Friday? Yeah, I don't Gosh, think it's out I yet. Check. I don't think it's out yet. I think the last time I looked it up, it was like October 27th or something like that. Mm. But I, I don't know. They're rolling that out late then. Yeah. I wonder oh, wait, if they're no. going to have it only like available for a few days or something. Maybe I'm thinking I of World of Warcraft. I thought it was Warcraft's... this Friday. Maybe I'm thinking of World of Warcraft's holiday schedule. <laughs> now I'm like questioning everything. <laughs> what? I Hold need on, to go have... look now. Yeah, I have it. I have it here. Traveler's Rest. Okay. Let's see. Tell no, me. all I see is the major update. I don't see when. I scroll down far enough. Maybe oh. it'll tell me when uh... it was in your. I think someone in your Discord. They did they... the um, Twitter was oh. where it was listed. Oh, okay. I'm gonna go back. Now we have to know, guys. Yeah, we can't not know now. <laughs> like it's this cannot rest. Okay, so. Travelers uh, Innkeepers, the Halloween event will return to Travelers Rest this year. If you completed uh, the mission last year, take the opportunity to get unique items for your tavern. Yes. And this was released on the 17th. So that was, what was that? Uh, Thursday? Yeah. And now I have to like well, look at the actual the site. I don't see a date on here though. Will return. Yeah, it doesn't say when. Yeah. Yep, I see it. It doesn't say when. That's a bummer. And I haven't seen an update, I don't think, for Traveler's Rest either. No, no there's not I wanted there. to be here already. I know. I know. But at least it gives you more Gosh, time with Graveyard I hope they Keeper. don't give us like only a few days. No, it's usually to not. To get all the stuff. It's usually a couple weeks at least, right? Like yeah, at least I think, like two weeks. I think what they do is it goes, it goes right up but against the Thanksgiving update. Mm, so we'll probably okay, get it for a yeah. few weeks then get the thanksgiving update for a few weeks and then christmas update i think that's how they usually that, i think that's how they've done it in the past uh let me know if i'm okay. wrong in the comments <laughs> okay yeah <laughs> let us I remember know if anybody has the insider info or remembers things with crystalline perfection for the past years like just let us know we'd love to know um okay so back to me yep. uh these aren't like specific ones, but it's just like older story of seasons and rune factory games. Oh, <gasps> yeah. So I, I like that for you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you like that for me. Yes. Cause <laughs> I've like, played I don't want to do it, but I like that. I, for oh, no. you. <laughs> I have, 
I have. I've played them all. That's why I'm. I would love for you to play them too. Uh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, and I have a bunch of them. Like I got a lot of the older consoles. Like when I first like went started getting into like Story of Seasons and Rune Factory. Like mm-hmm. I go hard with stuff like this. I get pretty hyper fixated. Um, and I got like the. I already had the Vita, the PlayStation Vita. I got the um, Nintendo DS um, and the Nintendo DS3. Is it the? Yeah. And then I got like all of the Rune Factory ones. And then I also got um, some of the older Story of Seasons games earlier this year. I have not gotten um, Harvest Moon 64, which was prior to uh the switch over to story of season seasons title um yep. but yeah yeah they, i have a lot of them i have a lot of them i got tree of tranquility animal parade and magical melody this year in we great so i'd love to play all of those i've heard amazing things about all of them so um <laughs> i watched uh i think it was tree of tranquility was the one i have heard the least about um, but after watching um Ursha and Josh on Josh's uh gaming garden podcast, mm-hmm. I was like, I gotta I gotta play that because she named off a lot of reasons that I love games. And I was like, that sounds amazing. That sounds like one that's gonna be a winner for me. So I got Tree of Tranquility alongside Animal Parade and Magical Melody, which have been raved about. Yes. So, so you yep. mentioned <laughs> you mentioned earlier about games that shaped your childhood. I played, yeah. sorry, I'm going to date myself here. I played the original Harvest Moon mm-hmm. on, I believe it was Super Nintendo when it first came out mm-hmm. once upon a long time ago. And Love I have played, it. I've played damn near every single one of them since. Every time a new one came out, I had it, which is why I've played pretty much all of them. I didn't have a Wii during the Wii bit, but I have watched my sister. She had when we were adults at that point with the Wii. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we're old. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, yep. I've watched her play <laughs> Animal. Was it Animal Far? No, Animal. Um, Animal, Animal Parade, Parade and Tree of Tranquility. Mm-hmm. Um, but and Story of Seasons. When it switched over to Stories of Seasons, I have and I've played every single one of them. Um, Pioneer of Olive nice. Town. I know Josh really likes that one. I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> that was the first thing- one I played. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Pioneers that was your first Town experience. Was the first one. Well, I liked no. it well enough that I started diving into the research. Like, well, okay, okay. <laughs> and um, that was as... how I discovered Josh. It was either that or Rune Factory Five. Like, I forget which one it was, but that was how I discovered Josh. Um, let me double check this here because I I want to make sure I say the right one. Um, but I'm it, for Rune Factory. I played Rune Factory Five. I didn't love it um (laughs) not a lot of people who love the series did love it a lot of people i think their favorites are probably uh rf3 and rf4 four Mm -hmm. i just looked it up actually like fantastic yeah four is especially well loved but i think a lot of people really adore three too um four is where you first started to be able to be able to pick a female character um yes. and i think it's like the story that most people absolutely love the story the dialogue like the characters etc well when you play just, like four, absolutely fell in love with <laughs> and when you play four yeah the characters are great um and i think yeah when you play it you're gonna know exactly who i married <laughs> i already do because i've played some of it <laughs> i've already played some rf4 before i started streaming <laughs> heck yeah <laughs> that was one of the first ones I started playing because it was available on Switch. Yes. Oh, is so, it really on Switch? Yep. <gasps> yep. I might have to get it and marry him again. <laughs> you should. Wait for a sale, though. Wait for a sale. <laughs> oh, yeah, probably. <laughs> but um, yeah, so these are ones like it opened up a whole background world to me. Like I caught on to them really late and the nostalgic love is there for a huge amount of players and I can fall in love with an old, like an older game. I don't really usually have issues falling in love with an older game. So Mm -hmm. I definitely want to start like, you know, 
dialing back and looking into those and looking into potentially streaming some of them too. Awesome. Yep. <laughs> I, I'm so excited for you to play all those games that were basically my whole life. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice. So what's up next for you? Dave the Diver. Oh my gosh, you've got to be kidding me. I love Dave the Diver. <laughs> I <laughs> so much. I can't remember. I, I shot two episodes of it. I really like it. Um, it didn't do well on my channel. Um, I think that's because just a lot of like AAA gamers played it as well, too. People who are mm -hmm. much better at those kinds of games than I am. Um, it's a lot of fun, but I just I haven't I just haven't gone back to it. I want to. I got stuck on a shark. You <laughs> I got stuck on one shark battle and I haven't been able to get past it. I probably tried it like 20 times. Oh, no. And I just haven't been able to get past it. Like, I cannot survive this one shark. And so, and it's been so long since I played it, I'll probably just restart it. But I mm -hmm. love Dave the Diver. So good. The it humor. is. humor. Oh, chef's kiss. So good. Oh, my gosh. But yeah, you're right. A lot of AAA gamers did play it. And they are just, they are professionals. Like, they are amazing yeah. at what they do. And that's not us. <laughs> <laughs> You're much more professional than I am. I'll just put that out there. Oh, but, um, oh. well, thank you. I think I, I, I am not. <laughs> I am so bad. Like watching us, watching both of us play chefs, like a uh, chef RPG. My timing on that nonsense. I got like a four on one of those scores. <laughs> oh, I'm pretty sure I got really bad scores. <laughs> really bad and somehow miraculously i was able to get all of them at like 100 one time or above 95 one time mm -hmm. to be able to get that like automatic <laughs> the auto cook but dang, <laughs> dang that's funny that was bad <laughs> <laughs> so yeah yeah but oh gosh love dave the diver i'd love to get back into that one not now but yeah that's a good one that's mm -hmm. a good one um, my next up, it's two of them. Yeah, I see. Brookhaven that. Grimoire and Orange <sighs> Season. So Ugh. Orange Season is actually coming up, but I haven't tried the demo. But both of them have been poorly reviewed. There's a reason. Very for that. poorly reviewed. Um, I know, I know, I know. You're one of the people that's poorly reviewed, uh, mm -hmm. Brookhaven Grimoire at least. Mm -hmm. Um, but but it has an interesting concept. It has an interesting concept. And this is the contrary kind of like, I don't want to want cat side of me um, <laughs> that comes out to play where I'm just like, I'm going to do it anyway. Like, I'm going to play this game anyway. And it's ridiculous. I probably shouldn't, but I'm definitely going to do it anyway. Uh, so these ones are on the top of my list to try, especially Brookhaven and Grimoire. That one is more interesting to me than Orange Season because Orange Season is pretty much another farming sim. But the controversy over it is what really intrigued me and in that it's coming up this uh, Thursday, um, I think, for full release. What's the deal what we with discovered? I, I've heard of Orange um, Season, but what's the deal with it? The controversy. We talked about it last time. Um, so the original development team. Yeah. Orange Season. The original development team. um disbanded and it got taken oh. over by new developers yes and you did you did they tell me this. pretty much like gutted and ruined it and people like adored what it was before absolutely loved it fell in love with it, it was fantastic Aww. and i don't know um if they ran out of money if there was like a uh, difference of opinion like what happened i don't remember if you do know leave a comment down below let us know but um yeah so this is just the contrary, I do what I want, bullheaded side of me. Like if I am intrigued by something enough, and I, I mean, look at it, look at Brocula. That one I got <laughs> and it has terrible reviews and it doesn't even look great. Like when you look at the trailer, but I'm still going to try it because it has an interesting, like it has an interesting aesthetic, like in backstory to it. And I want to try it. <laughs> As you should. <laughs> but, oh. Look. Uh, Brookhaven Grimoire, while I do hate on it now, I still put, <laughs> and this is according to my Steam page, 48 and a half hours into it. 
Okay. So despite the <laughs> fact that. Well, you only hated it when you got soft locked. Well, that's when I quit playing. Yeah, it was the soft lock. But oh, there okay. were still there were still like quality of life issues with the game that annoyed mm. me. But I yeah, I still kept playing. I I still <laughs> kept playing. So. Yeah. Contrary side of cat, too. <laughs> You will not make me stop playing this game no matter how much you... Oh, wait. You softlocked me? Forget you softlocked me. All right. Yep. Yep. <laughs> I'm out. Hey, I married... I got to marry a vampire. Who? Well, this is awesome. <laughs> yeah. Done. Deal made. <laughs> oh, gosh. So what's on So what's on your ne- list next? Disney, Dreamlight, Valley, and Palea. I kind of put them together because uh, they're very similar style games. Yeah. Um, well, yeah. Paleo is more like an MMO as put, well, DDV is not, but um, I yeah. find no, I get, that. I get what you mean. Yeah, I find that like the, the open people world who, kind of. Yes. Expansive. Yep. Yeah. Game. Um, and I, I find that the players who play Dreamlight Valley are the same players who play Paleo and they, they kind of. A lot base, of the time, yeah. Yeah, and they have like their whole channels devoted to it. I feel like there's like a pipeline from Animal Crossing to Disney Dreamlight Valley to Palea, and then back to Disney Dreamlight <laughs> Valley and back to Palea. They all connect. Um, <laughs> but for some reason, I think because of that, like there are just well known YouTubers who all they do is Dreamlight Valley and all they do is Palea. More so Dreamlight oh, yeah. Valley than Palea, I think. And like I, my channel doesn't compete with that. And so no. as much as I like the games, Palea, I fell off of. I really, I really love Palea, and I do want to go back. The reason I fell off of Palea, though, is because you had to get the higher level trees and such, and I just don't have the time to wait for the magic trees to spawn. And I think they um, increased the spawn rate, though. Well, I'd hope so by now, but that's still it's yeah. already kind of too late for me to go back at this point. Mm-hmm. I feel mm-hmm. maybe when it's. I don't think it's one yet. I think it's still early access, isn't it? Alia? I don't know. I don't know. I think you're right, but I don't know for sure. Maybe um, 1.0. Actually, when there's a lot more that they've added. I was just watching someone play, Alice play um, Palea. It was the first Palea content I've watched in, I don't even know how long, um, on Sharky's channel. He was doing mm-hmm. a 12 hour stream um, dedicated to a member who passed away. Aww. Um yeah, it was really heartbreaking. It was really, really heartbreaking. Um, he was a huge member of the community that like um followed Sharky from like the beginning. And so um his name is Brandon. If you guys know, you know. But um yeah, uh one of the things that someone turned in, I think it was like the shark teeth token for was to see his partner play, his fiance mm-hmm. play, Alice, some Palea. Uh she ch- she picked the game, but um she chose Palea and it was really interesting to watch. And I um <laughs> I actually like uh started logging in again and was like, oh, maybe I'll pick this up again. <laughs> it is very cute. And weirdly enough, I just picked up DDV again. Like last yeah? week. Yeah. Literally last week. <laughs> or like a week and a half ago, something like that. But yeah, I just picked that back up. So it's weird that you're mentioning these. <laughs> That's funny. It, but I mean, it's on my backlog for a reason. I plan to go back to them at some point. It's just, right. uh, yeah. Yeah. These They're kinds great games, of games, just... these kinds of games, they get updated so often because of the kind of game yeah. they are. And then after a while, you're like, how much of it did I miss? <laughs> right. And then no, like, oh, I have to catch up. There's so much to catch up on. I started over. I started over. Oh, did you? Um, yeah. My first save was on my switch for DDB. Mm-hmm. And, um, it, I didn't want to transfer it over. I had gotten it also on steam. And so I started playing on my steam deck and I just started with a fresh file. I was just like, I don't remember how to play this. I want to start over from the beginning and just went for it. So, and Hmm. I've been having a really good time, but man, the amount of time you have to sink into it, the amount of time you have to sink into it, like to make all of the, um, seasonal like quests and everything like that and get all the materials and stuff like it's just it's a lot it's a lot you have yeah. to be playing like every day two to three hours oh I'm sure say. like mm-hmm. it's it is a ridiculous amount of time um it's a great game but that's not 
it's not the only game, at least for me. So, anyways, but yeah. All right, you're so, up next. Yep. Yep. Oh gosh. Oh, I love these two. Spirit Fair and Snacko. Mm. Spirit Fair and Snacko. They are games that I played on stream one time. Absolutely fell in love with them because it was the first time I played them um, for both of those streams, but I haven't had the time available available to just pick them back up because they are both games that I really want to like dive into. And I think Snacko is still early access. I don't think that one is 1.0 quite yet. It's very, very close, but I don't think it's oh, 1.0 Snacko. quite yet. I mm-hmm. soft locked that game mm-hmm. and haven't played it again. <laughs> you soft locked that one too. I did. <laughs> I didn't get very far. I tried it on the deck and there were some, I think, big issues with the controllers and I hated it. Like I couldn't place things properly the way I wanted to. And so mm-hmm. I was just like, nope, not going to do it. Um, and the instructions just didn't make sense to me. Maybe it was just my brain. Totally possible. But it just, yeah, I... uh was like i'm just gonna play this on the computer i'm not gonna play it on my deck and i just haven't picked it up since huh. so yep and then spirit fair i i want to dive into that story i loved that episode that i streamed and it was just amazing and i want to dive back in and i want to learn more and i want to meet more characters and everything like that and help people move on but Aww. it's it's one of those ones that i know i'm gonna fall into because it's just so beautiful and so heart-wrenching and has such an amazing story yeah so yeah, that's me. <laughs> that's mine. That's all my stuff. I say top five picks, but that was way more than top five picks. Probably like more like top five reasons. Yeah, I'd say <laughs> so. Top five listed. categories <laughs> slash reasons. My last one is Maneko's Night Market. I wanted to 100% oh. that game, but then I guess I like, game. yeah, it's so cute and it's so like kind of simple, but it, it's, and I, I didn't get very far and then I stopped playing it and then I just kind of forget that I still have it. Um, but I'm kind of cranky right. because I intended to 100% it and then I didn't mm-hmm. win the race in like the first night market. And now. Oh, uh, same. Now I'm mad. Same. <laughs> <laughs> and then you got mad about it and set it down. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, no, I, I played, got farther I played than much, that. But... Yeah, no, I played much <laughs> further than that. I opened up like the third areas. I just had Same, I think. Yeah, yeah. I just. Uh, yeah, and I, yeah, I think at this point, it's more because I keep forgetting that I have it than anything. Right. I played that one with kiddo a little bit, actually, to help with reading. Mm-hmm. Um, and also to, like, do with an activity together. Um, but then life happened. <laughs> and we just haven't picked it back up again. He loved it. Uh, life. And the humor is so good. The humor is so cute and good. Mm-hmm. I love it. It's super. I, if anyone hasn't picked it up, you should. And you've been like, it's been on your list. You should. It's great. It's a great game. It really, really is. It's so much fun. That's another one I would love to dive back into. And it's kind of like quirky. So I think it would have like fit kind of spooky season a little bit. Not uh, like 100%. It's more like spirit. Yeah. Like semi god type thing. But yeah, I think it might fit a little bit. So shady um, government people. Yes. Lots of shady involved. government people. Yeah. So, and now for the opposite side of the spectrum. Yeah. <laughs> the bottom. What are the bottom dregs of our backlog? And you and won't why? go back to? <laughs> that we might or we might not. So, and this isn't necessarily just for streaming, but we we also, I think, have listed some reasons that they won't be streamed too. So, yeah, you start this one. <laughs> Uh, people are going to hate me for this. Don't hate me for this. <laughs> it's Stardew Valley. Okay, hear me out. Hear me out. <laughs> I'm so tired of it. Look, when this game first came out, I was chomping at the bit to play it, right? I grew up on Harvest Moon games, Story of Seasons games. I was like, yes, mm-hmm. this is it. I wrote half of the section on Sam in the wiki, okay? Okay. I was <laughs> full board hardcore into into um, Stardew Valley. I played what four hundred or more hours of it, um, and that was long before I had a channel. 
And now that I have a channel, right. I tried to stream it once and I'm like, I just, this game has no replayability for me. It, it really doesn't. I, I picked it up again when they had the, the island update. I played it. But unless they have like more additional content, but even then, I don't even know. Right. I don't know right. if I, I do want to go back. Well, that's fair. That's fair. I know a lot of people actually that don't um, enjoy Stardew Valley ne necessarily. I'm not one of them. I I discovered mods and it's like a whole new game every time. And you can set yourself like different challenges and stuff like yeah, that. Mods. Uh, yeah, mods. It's also one of the. Yeah, it's a thing. Like if you like if you're OK with mods, great. Like if you don't like mods, then. It is what it is. But um, I also just like the plain plain Jane game, too. It's one of those ones that's, like, comfortable and easy, and I go back to mm -hmm. it, and it's one that I play with hubs, you know? Like, it's one of those ones that we do couch co-op together. So it's a lot of fun with that, too. But, yeah, I can see I can see what you mean, and that's totally fair. Like, I, no hate. <laughs> no shade. Like, I've, I've literally <laughs> married, I have a file where I've married pretty much everybody. I've, I've done, I've pretty much done it all. Yeah. So mm -hmm. that's, that's pretty much it for me on that one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so mine, you might be upset with me over this I one. Am. Is Bonnie I am. Manor. <laughs> <laughs> I am mad at you for this. <laughs> Well, for me, it looks absolutely beautiful and really interesting. It just, it's just missing something. Like it's not capturing my interest like a lot of other games. I am still going to do it. I'm just going to have to be in some kind of mood. Like it's, it's going to have to be one of those ones or it's going to have to be something that's picked on a poll. Like, you know, like people are going to have to pick it and I'm going to have to pick it up. And I'm sure I'm going to love it when I pick it up, but it's just meh. Do you like, like puzzle it, games? Yeah, I do. Oh, okay. I've seen some of your content on it. Like, ah. <laughs> looks really great. Looked enjoyable. But it just isn't something that will grab me first. Like, I'll I'll reach for one of those RPG platformer puzzle action games first. Mm -hmm. Or I'll reach for the next pixel art game first. Like, this is not... It's not like the top five of my list that I usually go for though. Okay, okay. And it's, it's just, it's just down there. I don't know. I don't know. So yep. Sorry. 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 I knew this one was going to get cat specifically. <laughs> <laughs> I, knew it. I was like, Oh man, she's going to be mad at me. <laughs> no, no. She's just judging me a little. She's not mad. She's just disappointed. <laughs> I'm not that disappointed. <laughs> Okay, good. <laughs> well, what's next for you? <laughs> next for me is it, there are a bunch of early access titles that I bought it early access and they mm -hmm. felt way too early access. And I'm talking One Lonely Outpost, mm -hmm. I Am Future, Spirit of the Island, Farlands. They are all fun a, a lot for of like ones 20 that I minutes. I really enjoy. <laughs> I know they're fun for like 20 minutes for me and then. Spirit of the Island, I basically maxed out the content on quickly, and I was like, ugh. And then all the new updates were, were just too little, too late kind of thing. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. One Lonely See, Outpost. This is running into the... I love. Ahead, sorry. Well, One Lonely Outpost, I yeah. love, but again, you get like an hour in, and then there's... You're, you're out of content. Well, you had the bug where you lost your hot bar. I did. Yes, actually. If I'm remembering correctly. I did. I did. Like you had the bug where you lost your hot bar and that was like just game breaking because you couldn't do anything. It wasn't just the hot bar. Like, it froze my clock. Like my clock was completely frozen. Right. And that was so weird. My inventory was half missing. Like the bag spaces were gone and I had things in my bag that so I couldn't bizarre. see anymore. Yeah, it was it was a major. I apparently I'm queen of soft locking. Is that is, is that you really are. out here? <laughs> you are. I think so. I think it is. Um, because I played that in tandem. Like I played that when you were playing it right when it came out. I loved it. I still love it. It's one of those cozy ones that like I can play right before bed and it just like puts me to sleep. It's just like interesting, but cozy enough that I can relax and go to sleep. Mm. But um, yeah, I, I really like it. Um, but yeah, I played it right along with you. And I think I tried to help you a couple of times, like tried a couple of different things and just nothing worked. Oh, yeah. 
nothing worked. But yeah, yeah. I um, restarted a new save file sometime this last year. And I, I, I really enjoy all the updates. It's still EA. Um, so yeah. So one lonely outpost, I am future. I like I am future, but I don't think I'll pick that one up until it's fully released, but I will pick it up, especially since Miggy Monkey won a contest and has um, a couple of little robots in there. Robot Ooh, art. Really? So I definitely want to pick that up again, especially just to see that art. And I'm going to take some screenshots and post that when I do. Yep. Miggy Monkey, <laughs> shout out. Uh, I don't think I ever got into Spirit of the Island. I don't know why, but it's making me think Ikone Island. Um, no. But and then, of course, Farlands, which I really liked. So I don't know. Yeah, three, three out of four of those. Seventy five percent of the ones that I really enjoy. <laughs> but you kind of are just like, no. But this nope. is really interesting because we're running into the issue of first impressions mm -hmm. with EA. And they're ruining the game's chance to thrive. Oh, 100 percent. Instead of leading them to success for i feel i feel like there's like a catalyst on them like either you like them and you're still going to give them a chance or you just are like nope another person just like way too early release farlands was 0 0.1 it was like alpha not yeah. ea and, and i think that's like the crux of it is like people are releasing things that are alpha but calling them ea and the impression that people get is it's close to being finished yeah. Or like at least is fleshed out enough to be a game. Like with EA. And that's not what they're getting a lot of the time. Yeah. I mean, look it's at Fields of Mystria. Fields of Mystria and Chef RPG. Mm -hmm. That's how you do mm -hmm. early access. You clean Agreed. that first year so well. Um, your game loop is solid. Um all of I would the even places. say Go Go Town. I think Go Go Town is another Go -Go good Go Town was great too. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, but yeah, clean, there is a really good amount, like chunk of game, you know, you're, what you're going to be getting into and you don't have too far out of an end date to be complete. Mm -hmm. And you have an idea of when you are going to be complete. Oh yeah. Like a realistic one, not just a hopeful one, because that's the other problem that people run into, like <coughs> Coral Island. I knew it was coming. Uh, I was sitting in my uh, house like, she's going to say Coral Island. She's going to say Coral Island. <laughs> but um, I love Coral Island. But I got to say, like, the it was just hopeful planning. Like, it was so unrealistic. It was so unrealistic. And even when they did full uh, full release, it wasn't really a full release. Let's be real here. Let's be real. Mm -hmm. So anyways, but yeah, it's it's that interesting crux of EA can actually ruin games for people. And ruin the experience and people will just return them, whether they're cheaper when they're in EA or not. And they'll never look back. Yep. So, yep. Um, next up on my list are Bunny Park and Capybara Spa. Both of those are by the same developer publisher um, as Lemon Cake, Cozy Bee Games. Um, and the only reason I have them is because I got them in a bundle and it was cheaper to get it in the bundle for a lemon cake than to just get the game by itself. Huh. So they're not really in my wheelhouse of interest, but they are really cute. Um, I would again, have to be in a really particular mood to pick them up and play them. I know a lot of people like them, but I'm just like super meh. And super I wish meh. I could gift them to people. I wish that I wish I could gift people like games in my library. That, oh, that like would be I cool. bought. That'd be so amazing, but unfortunately, not so. Like I wish it was like a solid, like an actual, like physical copy. Like you could give it or gift yeah. it to someone. You know, you like, can never if play you it bought, again. Like, and that's fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you bought a game, a physical copy of it, you'd be able to give it to someone. So mm -hmm. I don't understand. Like at least in my brain, why, why a copy of a game that you have bought you cannot gift to to someone. So. Anyways, in my opinion. So that's I'm my stuff. That one's I'm short I'm joining sweet, you but... on that hill. <laughs> <laughs> let's, start a, let's start a community. <laughs> let's uh, start yeah. a riot. I don't think Steam is going to care that much. 
Yeah, they're gonna be like, eh, y'all are fine. <laughs> Move on. <laughs> but yeah. That's it for me on that one. Okay, <laughs> What's next so up for you? My next one is Bandle Tail. It was cute. Uh, um Yeah. But it was I the part like the party thing, I don't get it. Like I just Yeah. Like I get the knit crafting. That is so fun and so cute. But then like we're gonna have a party. Like I Yeah. It feels it very out of were, place. Did you have like the lore and like the background from League of Legends on it? Because I didn't. So uh, I don't know. Not entirely. I've never played League. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sorry, I had to but, sneeze. <laughs> no, you're fine. Um but I just, yeah. I don't know. It's so quirky and cute. I wish I wish I could have could have gotten into it because I got it too. And yeah, I made it to like the the school area and like the quests were fun, mm-hmm. um, but like then I had to like make the party again and I just it seems like it's way yeah. more complicated than I care for it to be. It put me to sleep if I'm going to be honest, like not in a good way. <laughs> like it put me to sleep. I I didn't get very far at all. I think I got like. 45 minutes into it oh okay i I actually fell asleep (laughs) this reminds me on my couch this reminds me of um fey farm we have a triple a dev (laughs) dipping their toe into a cozy game genre Mm -hmm. and they don't Mm -hmm. know what they're doing nope they haven't the foggiest well okay yeah and i will give bandle tell that it was better than fey farm I, Heck in my yeah. opinion, 100%. I will say Bandle Tail was better than Fay Farm. But I will, I will, I will yeah. die on the hill about Fay Farm. How much I'm mad at that game. <laughs> you die on your, you die you on will. your um, Coral Island hill. I will die on Fay Farm. <laughs> well, I like Coral Island. I just give it crap. <laughs> I just rag on it because it wasn't put out well. But I still love it. It's still a great game. But yeah, it's. Ugh. Fay Farm. Yep. And Bandletail. I would still, I would much rather play Bandletail any day, honestly, than Fay Farm. Same. And I played Fay Farm. I played a good amount of Fay Farm. I just got progressively more annoyed as I played Fay Farm. Yeah, I got to the second <laughs> area I and I was like, playing. it's the same thing. <laughs> I got to the ice area. I made it to like full on like the ice area and then I was just like, it's the same exact thing. Flip yeah. a desk. Yeah. I want to flip a desk. Like <laughs> just yeah. So and I'm I'm actually like a really good usually at like repetitive loops, but this one like was too much too much repetitive loop for me. It wasn't and a the repetitive loop chips sucked. The uh, relationships sucked. If I couldn't and the dialogue marry that wizard had so many typos. Yes, it did. It was ridiculous. So anyways, yeah. Yep. And you're next. <laughs> <laughs> Your last one, I think. Yep. Okay, uh, Calico and Chilltown. <gasps> Calico, okay. Both are ones that are, like, really cute. Chilltown. And they're in genres that I enjoy. Mm-hmm. Like, you would really think that they would be re- really interesting and capture my capture my interest and make me want to play them. But, I don't know, there's just, like, something, I don't know, something's, like, lacking. Some piece isn't there and it's just holding me back. And I honestly have no clue what. But there's always something just a little bit more interesting or there's always something just a little bit, you know, more homey or something like that. Like it just. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. I don't know what it now, is. Just now I remember. It's not, it doesn't have that je ne sais quoi. It doesn't have that like piece mm-hmm. that's like pulls me in and captures me. So, uh, Calico, I, I yeah. finished, but it is very simple. It is very simple. Yeah. Uh, it looks really cute. I got it on like deep sale or something like that recently. Yeah. So. Yeah. I don't even know why I finished Calico because it really wasn't up my alley so much. But it wasn't it that long of a game. Years. I think I 100 percented it in like four hours. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, yeah, that's Chilltown. easy. Maybe I will play it soon. Yeah, it's it's a very quick game. <laughs> Uh, Chill Town is like the Animal Crossing vibe, but again, early access makes or breaks you. Yep. Yep, yep. I feel like the one that's going to be like truly animal, like the new Animal Crossing is probably going to be Puff Pals when it eventually comes out. Mm -hmm. Puff Pals Island Adventures. So, but that one is still Alpha? 
alpha, I think, maybe beta, but yeah, that one is still in the works. Still in the works. So, yeah. What is your next one up? My next one up is Bilkin's Folly. Now, I really loved oh, this game. You loved that. Yeah. I did. And then I got to a minecart puzzle and I. Uh, people were coming to me for solutions. Where do I go mm -hmm. to find solutions? Mm -hmm. Nowhere. I could it's not the truth. find. But this is not just a puzzle. Now it's a timing game. And no, Ugh. no, there's nothing we less cozy. We talked about cozy. this last time. <laughs> yes, there's nothing less cozy than putting a time limit on a stuff. Timer. <laughs> yeah. And I just, yep. it like killed all the joy I had for that game. And I never finished it. Mm -hmm. And I'm so mad I didn't finish it because I really loved the premise of it. I and bet yeah. you could find the solution now. Probably. <laughs> But someone Probably. did it somewhere. Oh, the solution's not the problem. It's the timing. Now I have to oh, physically the okay. run the mine carts and get there in time. So, Ugh. yeah, I think I'm, I saw the solution. Someone did like a drawing, like a map. Maybe someone, if mm -hmm. they have a video of it, it might be better. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah I, that one never captured my interest. So, sorry. I don't know. No apologies needed. But... <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh this next one there's a couple actually and they have two different reasons but it kind of like tied in octodad the dadliest catch octodad octodad the dadliest cat catch and then sunny side and it's two different reasons two very different reasons okay octodad i got in a bundle that was less money than the game again than i actually wanted by itself it I did not, and I still do not want this game, and I'm completely disinterested in ever playing it. I don't want to play it. Like it's it, nothing, no appeal to me. I don't know. It's just nothing I want to play. Um, again, wish I could gift it to someone. Please, <laughs> please, Steam, please. Um, and then Sunnyside. It's too broken for me to be interested in it. I heard it's way too broken for me to be interested in it. Um, I heard about you that. Couldn't, I couldn't even get past. I couldn't even get past the prologue. Wow. I couldn't before the game completely shut down on me. What? Like the mechanics are so clunky and it was so frustrating, at least for me, in my opinion. Um, and I, I really wanted to love it. I love the devs. I loved watching interviews from them. I love their open and forthright honesty. I love their activity. I wanted to love this so badly because they are great but the game was just not executed and put out into the world well like it just wasn't done well like there's too many broken parts for it to have come out when it did that's a shame and and yeah and now i have the game and it's gonna sit there um probably until i have a really beast of a computer eventually one of these days i can dream um, but still, I, I'm, I might never play it like even then, cause who knows if it'll even work then, but yeah, those are my, that's my last ones. Oh man. I heard so. about that too. Yeah. And I never picked it yeah. up and then I completely forgot about it. Um, well, since we're in the farming, <laughs> right. the farming sim genre, I have, it's basically yeah. like if it's a 3d farming sim. Chances are I'll play it for a while, but I don't stick around. And so we're looking at right. Song of the Prairie, Ova Magica, Blue Oak Bridge. Um, I really, really want to play Spirit of the, not Spirit of the Island, Song of the Prairie. There was such a mm -hmm. uniqueness with like the whole detective thing, like inside people's brains. But I could right. never, I couldn't really get it to work. Like, right. Um, it's like, how does this function? It, there wasn't very good, like, tutorial or explanation with it, for sure. No. And I don't know whether that was a translation, like, yeah. issue or something else. Like, it just wasn't implemented yet or what? Yeah. But, Plus, yeah. I just, I gravitate to 2D pixel art, especially. That's just my wheelhouse and my jam. So, same. And it just, it seems like every time I play a 3D farming sim, as much as I love it, 
it always falls to the wayside for something else. Right. Right. It all the the shine wears off quickly. Mm -hmm. The shine wears off quickly. But yeah. Do you have any others or was that that was our I think yeah, that was both five for all both of us. Huh. All right then. Um so how do things fall off of your backlog or like what makes you excited? So we're gonna kind of like go through different the both of these, but like first off, like when multiple games are releasing on top of each other, Ugh. shadow drops, etc. Cetera, et cetera, like what are you looking for or not looking for? So I it's usually I'll have a game on my on my list that I know is coming out and I'm waiting for it to come out and then something else I want shadow drops. And then mm -hmm. it's like, oh, which one do I want to play better? Do I get them both? Mm -hmm. But if if I pick one over the other, the chances of me playing both are very slim. Very slim. Yep. And I hate that. Yep. I hate that so much. I hate that I have to choose. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't. <laughs> but they force us to sometimes. Yep. Yep. Or we just get choice paralysis and we don't play any of them. <laughs> that's where I that's something that happens to me sometimes. <laughs> uh yeah. Yep. And how oh, they fall gosh. off. Usually like I, there's games that come out and I'm like, okay, maybe I'll go back and I'll get that one. Maybe. But then I'll check my right. wish list and it's been months and all of a sudden I'm like, oh, that game came out six months ago. Oh, the reviews are only just positive, not like overwhelmingly right. positive or mostly positive, just positive. Right. It's like, yeah. and then I look at how much it's it is. It's getting close to like middle. Yeah. $25. It's getting close to like middling. Nah, nope. Sorry. And then it, it yep. I take it off my wish list and it's just gone from yeah. my purview. Yeah. I have some that are on there like that and I just wait for a sale. So they just kind of sit there and stagnate. <laughs> yeah. Which is terrible. I should probably just take them off, but I have hope. I have hope that I'll get like a $2 sale or something. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah. And uh, gosh, I'm kind of the same. If there are two I'm super excited about, I'll push one back one day usually mm -hmm. like I'll play one, I'll push one back one day and then I'll have a poll that features both of them repeatedly. And I'll usually play them both of my own free time. Um, but my copious free time. <laughs> um, <laughs> but well, that's what I ended up doing yeah. with chef RPG and women Academy. I'm, I, I got mm -hmm. them both still, but, um, yep. I, I played a bunch of Chef RPG. I had a backlog and I literally had like a week's worth of videos that I just kind of dripped out. And then I'm right. like full bore into Wimble Academy. Yep. 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 Oh gosh. I really love Wimble Academy. I want to go back to that one. I will go back to that one. Um, and then if there's two, like usually I'll have one that I'm a little bit more excited about than the other. So it's oh, usually yeah. not like terrible shadow drops. I don't think there's anything that's like shadow dropped that I've really been excited about. So I haven't really run into that issue, at least as of yet. Um, nothing that's really like, not, not like more than one that's like competed against each other that I couldn't make a decision. Like it's usually the one that I'm a little bit more excited about, or there's only one that I'm really excited about. I just know about the other releases mm -hmm. and I'll just go from there. So, but yep. Um, do we buy it immediately or wait to see reviews? Well, one of the things about being a content creator yep. is sometimes you just have to buy it immediately because <laughs> you are going to be the review. Mm hmm. So oftentimes mm -hmm. if it's a game I, I know I really, really want, I will buy it mm -hmm. immediately. Yep. Um, Absolutely. Oh, yeah. That's pretty much it. Like, yeah, I want to say, OK, so this month, ones that I knew I was going to buy immediately Wimmel Academy <laughs> yep same <laughs> never and ones that I was pretty sure were Europa and I kind of just fell into Amber Isle I did get it so if anybody does want to see that please leave a comment down below and let me know but um yeah I did end up getting it I have not played it yet I'm kind of afraid to um, oh yeah <laughs> yeah Ah, it's got mixed. It's got mixed reviews. Oh, does we'll it? See. That's we'll the we'll shopkeep dinosaur one. 
Yep, that's the shopkeeper dinosaur one, the crafty one. And so I might play like an hour and a half, if, and if I hate it, I might return it to Steam, especially since it's only been a week. Um, because if you only play two hours yep. or under two hours, or it's been within the first like I think couple of weeks, you can return it. Yep. Um, no questions asked with Steam, and I don't do that very often. I almost never do that. Um, but it is an option if anybody like needs an option like that. So anyways, um, I'll probably just do like an hour and a half video of it and then make a decision from there if I'm going to keep it or not. Um, and then I am still looking forward to fruit bus and I'm definitely going to be getting that mostly because of what I've seen. I have not played it yet, but I am looking forward to playing it. So what, um, yep, yep, yep. what, what um for upcoming games what jumps out to you as like i'm going to buy this immediately so to give an example mine oh. is is it pixel art is it a new take on a traditional farming <laughs> sim and is there something spooky i.e revealing a mystery or a dark secret absolutely get that in my cart immediately <laughs> you said the magic words <laughs> um Gosh, this is so hard to pin down. This is such a hard one to pin down, like for reasons, because there's so many different reasons and so many different things that can catch my interest. Pixel mm-hmm. art is definitely one up there. Like pixel art almost always kept like grabs me, um, at yeah. least initially. Um, intriguing story, like intriguing, like different, like start to a story, like Brokula. Mm-hmm. Like that one, that one's got me. It's p- pixel art and it's got an interesting, like quirky story, like background, like not something I've seen before. So I'm interested. Chef RPG, again, pixel art and super like interesting, like kind of a new twist on a game. So really interesting. In that. Plus it has that steampunk, steampunk vibe, which is great. Um, the, the Eastward like art the dark- style. Yes. Yeah. It's got that Eastward art style mixed with steampunk and, um, in a really interesting game loop. I'm here for it. Very but, good game loop. Yeah. Um, and then a lot of the time, gorgeous artwork. So mm-hmm. like when you look at, um, oh gosh, one second, Bo, um, T- Path of the Teal Lotus, and yeah. No, Nine Souls. Both of those are just gorgeous. They mm-hmm. are gorgeous. And those are one of, that's one of the main reasons I picked them up. Sometimes it's nostalgia. Visions of mana. Pick that up. I snatched that. No questions asked. You got me. It's a <laughs> mana one. I'm there. You got it. Um, and then just like storyline. Like a lot of it is storyline for me. Like capture me with your story. Capture me with your trailer. And I, you got me. You got me. So. And then farming sims. I'm, I'm a farming life sim person. So pretty easy. Absolutely. And I'm, a, I'm an easy touch. <laughs> Right, <laughs> <a> soft touch. <laughs> and if you have Shoot. romance capabilities in your game, yes, put a nerd in there, please. <laughs> glasses, you got cat. <laughs> Slap some glasses and a medical degree on that one. Thank you. Yep. Please. Yep. Yep. Oh gosh, <laughs> fields of mystery. Oh, uh, but um, oh, what was the other? What was I just thinking of that I was just like, oh my gosh, um. I just thought of something. What was I? Oh, I just lost it. My brain. No. Age appropriate thirst um, traps. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh. Age appropriate thirst traps. Ah, oh, Hayden, he got me. I wish Ulrich were romanceable too. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I was just talking. I was chatting in someone in uh, Sharky's chat when he was playing Fields of Mystery, and someone was just so funny. They were like, "He's built like a fridge." <laughs> So <laughs> some people like that. <laughs> and I was dying. I laughed so hard. I laughed so hard. It was so good. Oh man. Give me like good romanceables. You've definitely got me. You've definitely got me if you've got good romanceables. No question. But yep. Yep, yep. So um I think that about wraps it up for backlog and stuff like that. Yeah. Um we've been playing a lot of demos. Yes. Steam Next Fest. <laughs> is it yep, is it just me? Yep. Is it just me or does Steam Next Fest always just 
show up out of nowhere and you're like, oh, crap, yes! it's this week. I was actually going to ask you. I was like, how do you keep track of this? I, I don't. Have no clue. It just was like there. And I, I was don't. like, the heck, I guess that's what I'm doing this week. I I panic and then play 12 of them over a weekend. That's what I do. Yeah. Yeah. I, was like, I guess I'm dropping everything else for that. Yep. <laughs> schedule who who who, when did i ever think that i could do a schedule ridiculous and it's always it's always february it's always june it's always october and like my brain never and i know that but my brain is never like oh it's october maybe we should look ahead to see when the next fest is no never right see i didn't even know that much i'm literally writing it down right now february june october got it yes (laughs) you're welcome because i had no idea (laughs) thank you (laughs) <laughs> yeah, but, and it's and also wholesome direct. I think happens a couple times a year. Um, and then Nintendo uh, directs when those come out. Gosh, I need bingo cards. Well, the wholesome direct <laughs> usually the wholesome direct usually ponies on with the um, next fest because it's yeah. all that same like quote unquote E three section. Yeah, it's of like time. the Ju- I think that one's in June too. I think that one's in June too, and it's usually it like is. the week, yep. a week or two before or after. I think um, the next fest. I don't think they usually do it the same exact time. I think it's like a couple weeks before or after, but they're both in June, I believe. Mm-hmm. So, but yeah, gosh, gosh, my my plans went in the trash can <laughs> when I saw that it was Steam Next Fest. I was like, well, there goes that schedule. <laughs> um but is your is your honest, favorite i was just able go ahead oh no go ahead i'm about to move the conversation if you're still on this one oh no ahead. you're fine um i was just gonna say like to be honest like i wasn't able to really even play any of the demos until yesterday and i've gotten through let me see one two three four five six six demos um and they've been coming out as as you guys have seen if you are on my channel um like twice a day <laughs> Because I'm just trying to get them out before people don't have the opportunity to play them. So by the time that this comes out, it's it's going to be over. Like Steam's Next Fest is not going to be going anymore. But because yeah. um, it ends Monday today, we're we're yep. recording on Sunday. It ends tomorrow on Monday at noon. I think it is PST Pacific Standard. Yeah, or something like that, or ten. I don't know something yeah. like that. But I've yeah. literally been so by cramming- the time that this comes out. Yeah, I've been literally cramming demos all morning, and that's what I'm going to be doing yep. after our chat here is more demos. That was what I was doing all day today um, and yesterday. So <laughs> other than um, what's it called? Yes. <gasps> I heard I that. I don't know if you guys heard that. I did. <laughs> nutty. Is that nutty? She's like, excuse me? Yep, it's nutty. Oh, of girl. course it's nutty. She's like, excuse me. I need attention. <laughs> But okay. um, yeah, so by the time that this comes out, yeah, I've been grinding since yesterday after stream and all day today for demos. And it's and I've been making sure that they're edited and uploaded too, which which is time consuming. So <laughs> that's why I've only played like six, five or six. I haven't done any of that yet. But, <laughs> we'll yeah, get there, but. yeah. Uh, can I sit here but. and rave about Luma Island? Can we can we yes, collectively yes, we can, squee about Luma yes, Island? We can. Oh my gosh, yes. So Luma it's Island so is amazing. what I wanted Spirit of the Island to be. That's what Spirit of yes. the Island kind of touted itself to be. But this But it fell what, short. But Luma Island my gosh. Yes. You go first. You go first. You go first. What what path did you pick? Oh, um, so I went, so you have a, um, two, se- two series, um, two ways to play the game. So there's a cozy, yes. which is like less combat, everything. And then there's hero. And I went hero cause I like combat. So, um, and I don't know yet if there are different professions that you can pick from those first two choices. But then after that, I picked whatever one was like the pirate. I think it was yes. like the archaeology one. Are we the same person? <laughs> Did we do the same thing? Yes. <laughs> I played on cozy yes. mode because I just, I don't have much time to, uh, for the demo. So I was like half an hour tops each demo. I think I did almost an hour with, with Luma because I Sorry, just I couldn't put it down. She has a new twin. Yeah. <laughs> 
This is why Coatsy and I get along so well. I did want to do the archaeology one, but it had like triple skulls on it. It's apparently really hard for some reason, but that is the one I'm going oh, to choose okay. at 1.0. Yeah, okay. So we did the same thing. I, I didn't do the difficult one. I went the other route. Yes. It was like the, yeah. It was like, it was like the treasure hunter. That was what it was. Treasure, yeah, treasure, treasure hunter mm -hmm. and pirate. Mm -hmm. um, so basically, all right, let me give a little recap here. Yep, yep, uh, yep. The, the game is a little tongue-in-cheek, too, because the mayor kind of makes a joke about you, like, hating your old boring yeah. life and, sho and showing up on this <laughs> island. So much. And it's not just the mayor, it's like everyone with their backstory. It's, it's so funny. Mm-hmm. Well, you are literally on an island with nothing but, like, a little camper, and you go to the town, and the mayor has you register, basically, like, what you're going to be. Like, what are you doing? And you can pick from, like, you could be a cook... You could be a jewel crafter. You could be a blacksmith. You could be uh, what we chose, which was the treasure hunter and pirate. Um, you basically like make pirate you could be costumes. A brewer. Yes. Yep, yep. Oh, yes. The brewing. I I actually contemplated that one too, but I'm I don't no, I don't know where I find anything. Yes, and then they have there's one that's an archaeologist. And it's like the only one mm -hmm. that had like a really high difficulty on it. So I don't know what that's no, about. No, the other but... one had three. There was another one that had three gold stars. It was just that that one had three skulls. I thought that was really interesting that that was oh, like yeah. one of the only ones that it had um, a different, just little emoji, like little icon. It, maybe I wonder if it requires, it. Um, if it requires combat. But I did cozy and it was still there for me. So, and there is still oh, combat okay. interesting. in cozy. Um, I ended up fighting mm -hmm. some ghosts. But, like, I didn't Ooh. take any damage. Nice. Oh, okay. So maybe it's just, like, the damage and HP aspect of it that you miss out on. Maybe. Well, but... miss out on, quote, unquote. Yeah. <laughs> you just can't die. I love that there's no stamina and you never have to sleep. Yep. You no stamina. No sleep. You never have to sleep. You just play on and on. As much as you want, and I love well, that. My little hyperfixation heart is filled with glee. Oh yeah, like and <laughs> the exploration aspect of it. I'm glad there's no bedtime because I would pass out every night. Yes. I get lost on the island, which isn't that big of a deal oh, because yeah. the time doesn't matter and there's no stamina bars. Yeah. So you just get completely yeah. lost and find your way back. Oh yeah, I got, I got completely lost multiple times. You can go Same. check out my video. Like, oh my gosh, I literally was going around i'm so confused i have no idea what i'm doing but it's fine because i don't have to sleep like <laughs> the only thing i said on there was i wish the map was better but they're already yes. gonna implement that really soon like that's something I that they're that. updating before the full release on november 20th so yes. and did you hear me i said full release november so. 20th <laughs> we're a month I away can't wait we're both gonna be we're both gonna be playing that like mad i swear me losing our minds i'm so but excited yeah, there were multiple points where I was like, I am completely lost. I don't know how to get back home. Oh, puppy, you find yeah. something? Let's go. <laughs> I know, right? Exactly. Yes, the puppy. Because we both chose the same path um, for the treasure hunter. Mm -hmm. um, the guy who like employs you or like gets you started on your journey um, gives you a dog. And this dog is a treasure hunting dog. And he'll just like randomly go around and sniff out dig spots for you to find buried treasure. Like, it's, it's just amazing. Not it's even, so cute. You don't even have to command him. He just bark, nope. barks and walks around and yeah. you're like, I'm following you. Oh. Okay. <laughs> and the other, thing yeah, that, uh, the other thing that Treasure Hunter does, too, is it's not just about finding treasures, but you also mm -hmm. make replica pirate costumes, almost as if you're yeah. like. Mm -hmm. It's a cosplay. No, I think it's, it's like LARPing. it's more like reenactment. It's more reenactment than oh, LARPing. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. more like Okay. Um it's like historical accuracy, that sort of thing. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah. You're right. My bad. <laughs> but the costumes are on point. <laughs> and yes. you're helping make the costumes and like get more historically accurate quote unquote like gear and such. Mm hmm But yeah. Oh gosh, so much fun. All right, that was so addicting. I was chaos brain that entire demo. I want to go back and play the demo like multiple times over again, just so I can like derive a little bit more focus <laughs> than I was able to attain the first time <laughs> when I'm just figuring things out. 
All right. But, so um, I, I will say also the um, crafting system was a little confusing to me at first, but I went bit. back and actually watched some of the content and I was like, this is actually really innovative, innovative and really interesting. Mm-hmm. Like once you figure it out, I actually like it. Same. Same. Like, but it just takes you a minute because it's not the same old, same old like routine that you do in every other farming sim. Like yeah. it's got a literal little video at the top that shows you where you can find things and what activity you have to do to be able to get things. Or if you, if it's craftable, you have like, it shows you what machine you're supposed to be crafting it at, mm-hmm. et cetera, so on and so forth. Like it's, it's very um, visually representative or representative instead of just a bunch of text. So I appreciate yeah. that, but it was just so different that my brain wasn't catching on to it quite um, as quickly as I would hope, you know, but uh, now that I've figured it out, I'm like, actually, this is really cool. And this is really a neat way and good way to do that. So, yeah. So good. All right. I think we should um, move on to a different demo. Yeah, we got to um, move on. We got to move on. Um, okay. You said the first one. I'm going to say in the next one, Fruit Bus. Go for it. Fruit Bus? This one I'm super, uh, yes, Fruit Bus. <clears throat> I am super excited for this one. This one is coming out on October 28th. It is developed and published by um, Krill Byte Studio. They have other games on Steam, but nothing I've seen before. I have not played it, but it is another one that is coming out in full release. And I have seen other people play the demo, and I'm going to be playing the demo before this podcast comes out, and I'm really excited for it. Like, <clears throat> it looks like just a little cursed. <laughs> like, what? Like the art and like the art and the animation just looks like just a little bit cursed (laughs) like just that little bit of off like strange and Mm -hmm. i love that and i also just like the traveling around in a bus that you give people fruit on and like the animations and everything like it just looks so cute and interesting and i'm really intrigued by it and it's had really good reviews um just from the demo and full release has got me at this point like you give me a game that's full release, like I'm halfway on board already. So that's something. Oh, absolutely. Because there's uh, been so many EA games. Like you give me a full release, I'm like, hmm, yes, please. Hmm, what? Tell me more. Yes. Oh yeah. Hmm? Um. So yeah, that one I'm really excited for. And we talked about that one last week, so I'm not going to dive too too deep into that one. But yeah, I am excited for it. Yeah, I have Fruit Bus um, on my list of demos to play tonight. Um. So I'm hoping yeah. to play it soon. Yeah. I'm going to be playing that one in the morning because after this, I'm going to bed. <laughs> <laughs> we're we're recording a little late for uh, for Coatsy, <laughs> but that's OK. That's OK. Oh, it's yeah. Worth it. Time zones and all. <laughs> yep. Yep. Also, I just go to bed ridiculously early. <laughs> and I'm the opposite. <laughs> yep. We're like polar opposites with our with our sleep cycles. <laughs> yeah, I'm a but, night cat. Um, a night cat. <laughs> yep. I am not. I get up at the at before the crack of dawn. So um, next up is one I don't think many people have heard of, but it sounds really interesting and intriguing. And I want to play this demo. I haven't yet. It's on my list for tomorrow. It's T for sauna. I'm going to write that down. <laughs> it looks so interesting. Um, this one is developed and published by Pillow Soup. Yes, Pillow like what you sleep on soup. And this is the only game that they have listed on steam right now. It doesn't have a release date yet. It's coming soon. Um, I have not played it yet, but it does, I think look like it's going to be full released. Um, and not EA. I don't think it's planned for EA. It doesn't have anything on here that looks like it might be. So, um, the synopsis for this is T for sauna is a story driven exploration game Set in the mountains of a Slavic-inspired fantasy world, discover recipes, forage for ingredients, and cook traditional dishes to restore the balance between the mountain spirits and the villagers below. Okay. So it's got me. It's got me. Plus, it's tea. I mean, you know I'm going to be on it if it's got tea in it. You guys Um, see our logo, right? (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. You see? I'm all about the tea. Um, Which is one of the reasons I want to play Call of Boba, even though I've heard less than enthusiastic like more like meh reviews about it than anything oh. else i still want to play it because boba tea 
But um, yeah, so it in the like descriptors on it are like story rich, narrative, interactive fiction, cooking, all of which I'm really interested in. And the art on it, the pixel art on it is just beautiful. Like, I love it. It's pixel art, too. It's- Yes, it's All right, Pixel that's... Art Cat. <laughs> yeah, I did not see this one when I was going through the uh, the next fest list, so I'm penciling you this one in my check list. Check it out. I think so. <laughs> we should we should swap notes. But yeah, so um, I'm really interested in this one. I think this was actually I don't know if I found it or if someone brought this to my attention. Um, a lot of people bring it to, bring different games to my attention on my Discord. So if you did. I'm thinking it probably would be Kilo D if it was someone. So if hey, Kilo, Kilo D, if you did, thank you. <laughs> and shout out to you. Shout out uh, to and Kilo. if it was someone else, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My brain is faulty. So <laughs> there we go. <laughs> but um, yeah, are there any other demos that you're like really excited about? So I've played a couple. Um, mm-hmm. And then there's a couple that I'm... So first of all, like being excited about, there's like always a host of like witchy potion sims when they in in next fest oh, that yeah. I, I can't wait to play i haven't played them yet mm-hmm. but potion tales Jin's potion shop magic inn and magical bakery are all oh i played magical bakery i saw that on discord <laughs> yeah <laughs> is it worth playing is it worth playing i if you like lemon cake then yes i think so I... I never played lemon cake, so I guess I'll okay. I'll it, give it a go. It's very much like a cooking restaurant, like management simulation, like management game. Yeah, mm, yeah, but like maybe. with a witchy. We'll theme. see. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, it, if you're I... just doing the demo, you might as well give it give it like at least thirty minutes, and then you'll know. Like okay. yeah, like thirty minutes of demo, you'll be fine. Um, I will say like there's not any customization in the demo, which I was a little disappointed about because they have them there, but you can't select them. Ah, so you can like visually see them, but they're kind of faded out. So <laughs> that was a little disappointing, but it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Um, what were the, some of the other ones? Because I got to write these down. You can tell me after we're done. You can tell me after. Okay, we're done. so but some I do want to know I've, which ones I've played today are mm-hmm. Garden Trills, which I thought was just like a like a botany manor. It's not trills it's actually like T R I L L S. Correct. Um, huh. Sorry, I have a cold here and I think uh, my voice is going, but uh, I'm talking Hi. a lot. We're almost done. We're <laughs> almost done. <laughs> okay. Uh, hold on just a second. No, you're good. Take your time. Okay. So I thought that was like a botany manner, but it's actually a platformer. You play as a little bird and you just plant your garden and then you have to, at least in the first area, or at least where I got to in the game... You had a quest to go turn on like the sprinkler system, and while you're going to get the the fuse, go to the fuse boxes in the three different areas, you like bring gifts to other birdhouses, and like it's kind of like a collect like a collectathon. You get um, interesting. You get uh, cute little cosmetic items when you gift stuff to other birds, but they're all they're like they're platformer puzzles, and so I probably won't play it. When it comes out for that reason, that's not really my jam, but it is so stinking cute. And I do recommend watching the demo when when I put it up here eventually. Right. Right. And if that sounds like your jam. Um, And then I played another. It looks really cute. Like I'm looking at the trailer right now and it looks really, really cute. It is super cute. It's almost giving me just pro things vibes, but like way calmer and way 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 chaotic. Yeah, it's not chaotic (laughs) at all. Um, I do have a chaotic game on here. I have a camera game on it. here, like, um, but first I'm going to tell you, we're in the, in the plant genre still. Urban Jungle okay. took me a minute to get the hang of, uh, but it's actually, like, I unpacking. Think, if what I'm thinking of, of then... then... This, this one, one didn't, didn't work, work for me. For me. Yeah, Urban yeah, Jungle, it's like one. unpacking, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah it's it like unpacking, cute. but... It took um, me a little bit to get the hang of it. The first time I played it was when I think it was Wholesome Direct in June and mm. the demo didn't work. Oh, like it, I did all the things it wanted me to do. And I couldn't move forward. Like it just broke. Like it just stopped oh, and I couldn't no. do it. I was planning on putting the demo out and I couldn't. So that was really disappointing because it looks cute because it is like um, 
a plant unpacking. Yep. So it's really cute. And you have to but, no. put the plants in very specific ways to get more points. Mm -hmm. Like if they mm -hmm. need sunlight or and, humidity yeah. or near other plants that they need to be. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And I found that I actually found this more interesting concept wise than unpacking. Mm. Probably unpopular opinion there. I, I didn't really I've enjoy unpacking. Unpack. I've never played it, so I don't I, know. I was like, meh. Yeah. But um, yeah, I was really excited about this. It looked so cute. This was one. I think it was either it was either Next Fest or it was um, Wholesome. I think it was Wholesome mm. um, Direct. But I played the demo then and it was broken. So again, first impressions. If you yeah. don't have a solid demo out, if it's Ooh. broken. If we're going to talk then... about a solid demo. <laughs> Go ahead. Galactic Getaway. Have you played that one? No, I want to, though. I think it's on my list. Let me it's see. a terrible it's demo. List? It's an absolutely it's abysmal terrible. demo. <laughs> yeah. It's like Space Animal Crossing. And oh, the gameplay no. loop is boring. It's boring. Oh, no. That's so yeah. sad. Yeah. It looked so cute and interesting. That's yeah. That's terrible. Sad day. Yeah. But you want to know about the one that fell flat for me. Ooh, overthrown, right? Oh, uh, yes. You just stole my thunder. Rude. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, we were talking about it before. We were, this, we were before. talking about it before. I, oh, I was so disappointed. And part of it is because I was so excited for it. Mm -hmm. It looked super interesting for me because it looked just so quirky and silly. And this one was pointed out to me by Kilo D before Next Fest as one that I might want to look into because it's so chaotic. You like throw things. So like to get wood, you throw it into the sawmill. You, you can lift an entire tree and throw it into the sawmill. That's and hilarious. That so, so silly and up my alley. And I'm like, yes, chaos. And um, then I opened the game and it is a very demanding game. It's a very hefty game. And I have like a decent, like pretty good gaming laptop. That's what I'm running on. So it was doing all right at first. But as I progressed on, we got more stuttering, we got more blurring, we got more um, freezing, like just continuously as I got through the experience. And this is going to be a little bit of a spoiler. So if you don't want to hear this, you should mute for the next 10 seconds. OK, like at the end, it actually shut down OBS like I was finished. I was already going to be logging off and everything. It actually shut down OBS and stopped my recording. And then huh. the entire game froze and I had to shut down the game. And then I had to go back and open OBS and record just like my outro. Eesh. It was so, yeah, it was it was really not fun overall. And I caveated this a lot. It's going to be out in early access again, early access. It's not optimized the way I feel like it should be. It is a very hefty game. I think I, I don't think it's it should be as hefty as it is. Like, I don't think it should be as demanding as it is, but that's just my opinion. Um, it's, it's clunky. It needs tutorials. It it needs tutorials. Like the, there was no tutorials. You just had to figure it out. Oof. And it was so confusing. I was so lost through so much of it. And then so much of it is a grind fest to get what you need to build the things. Cause it's a city builder. Mm -hmm. Um, and it just got progressively less enjoyable for me. And it just, I think because I was so excited about it prior to playing it and so like enthused about going into it because I had seen really good reviews from some of the people that I watch, like Josh, like he, they have mm -hmm. really good game. They have really good gaming PCs. Okay. Like they have like hefty, like beast, beast computers, you know? And I just don't. And I feel like a lot of people don't, you know what I mean? Like, oh yeah. And it just, fell super flat and super disappointing for me and i said at the end i was like look i might take another look at this once it's fully out if it has been optimized a lot at least for laptop play or if it gets ported to the deck 
then mm-hmm. I mm-hmm. might look at playing it because the deck is a beast on its own. It's a beast of a console. Oh yeah. It is made specifically to play these really hefty games. It, I would say I I would probably say it's comparable to like a PS5. Please don't hate me people. But like for playability for those super hefty like big games. It is a beastly console. And that's its sole purpose. It's like a computer that's sole purpose is to play these games, you know? Mm-hmm. And so if it gets ported to the deck and it has good reviews, then I might try it on the deck. But I am salty. <laughs> I am salty. And then there was like a series of events afterwards where it like did something weird to my computer, but that's like a whole other thing. I had to like end up restarting my computer afterwards for things to get right again. So yeah, that's it was just a yeah, it was just a disappointing and frustrating experience experience all around. If you want to go and laugh at me, go check out that demo <laughs> video that I've had posted. Oh no, <laughs> I I think I had one person. I think it was Human on um YouTube comment. This is so chaotic. Like that's that's it. <laughs> just said, this is so chaotic, <laughs> or this game is so chaotic, or something like that. And I was like, hundred percent. That's all I said back. I said hundred percent. Yep. <laughs> just so chaotic it's crazy but and i feel like i'm glad i'm able to give the not hefty pc build like gaming computer perspective Mm -hmm. because i feel like a lot of us don't have that um and a lot of um youtubers out there who are actual streamers like do have those pc builds so it's hard to get like a normal person's (laughs) perspective sometimes on some of these games yeah that are going to take a lot more i mean my pc was a beast in 2014 (laughs) Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah it's 10 years old it's it's you got the old school beast computer i do do. (laughs) but you got any more oh yeah um speaking of chaos this is the one that i was mentioning uh al nico smithery it's al nico al yeah al and i CO and I think they're based on like periodic table elements because of the way they're written. Um it's uh, like what is that game that's potion crafting where it's all sepia toned and black uh-huh. lines? It's identical to that. I don't oh. think it's the, it's I'm certain it's not the same dev. Um but it's basically blacksmithing and as much as I loved Kinseed blacksmithing mm-hmm. mini games and mm-hmm. um while the iron's hot I'm like, "Well, let's try this." Mm-hmm. I am too much of a bull in a china shop player. Than to, to do this because it's all <laughs> physics based. Um, I kept spilling the cup of uh, molten metal everywhere all the time. <laughs> Just I actually had to restart the demo because I was too far chaos that I just broke stuff. And I'm like, okay, restart. Gently, carefully <laughs> lift so much. the cup, put it over on the thing. <laughs> You have to, like, oh really gosh. have, like, a light touch and stuff. And I'm just like, I don't have the patience for this. I have ADHD. That's Can not I me. Just... <laughs> That's not me. <laughs> so I probably won't buy the know. game. Because it's just, You mean I... Potion Craft? Is that potion, the one yep. you were thinking of for the art yep. style? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Potion Craft Alchemist Simulator. That was yeah. the one that it made me think of immediately, too, when I saw the artwork. Yep. Exactly. Yeah. Same art style. So if you liked <laughs> Potion Craft, you might like this one. And yep, then the yep, other yep, one, yep. if you're an exacting player, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, uh, oh is gosh. is called Spilled, and it reminded. Oh, yes, I want to play this one so badly. It is a solo female dev who lives on a boat. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. she basically did Kickstarter to get enough funds to get this game going, and right. the art style reminded me a lot of Moonglow Bay, kind of. It's pixel, oh. pixelish, pixelish, boxy, pixelish. Yeah, it's like pixel adjacent, I would say. Yeah. There is no text in this game, and it doesn't need it. It is just, you drive a boat, you scoop up all the oil spills and the trash, and you bring it back oh, to the big so thing. Fun. And then you upgrade your ship. And then it's just, it's so chill. And it's one of those games you could put down, and then like one you know night what that you reminds can't sleep. me of? What's that? You know what that description reminds me of? Lodal knot. Yes, it's it's a, it's a very similar premise. You're basically cleaning areas, but it, lodal knot is underwater, mm-hmm. and this is on water. Right. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And it's much more simple than lodal knot. Yeah. This looks so interesting, and it's on my list too. 
I'm yeah. so I'm so excited to play this. Like that's the one I'm definitely doing tomorrow. So I'm it's, I'm really excited that you enjoyed this and really I liked it because I'm that makes me look forward to it even more. And you know how a lot of games you play Stoked. it and then you you don't play it for a while and then you get back into it and you're like I don't know what the, what I'm doing. This one, yeah, you could play it, it and a month matter. later, yeah, a month later you could yeah. be like having a hard time sleeping and get up and like I need to just. Mm-hmm do something kind of chill you could just pick this game right. up and just drive your boat over the oil spills and you save little creatures it's one of those, that like, are stuck it's so yeah cute. mindless just not mindless but like cozy. it's something that so like cozy. your brain can latch on to like that just is cozy yeah exactly it's something mm-hmm. that your brain can latch on to without having to think yeah like it's it's just enough that it keeps you occupied but then also gives your brain a chance to rest Mm-hmm. at the same time so yes oh i'm so excited i'm so excited what else so is those, on your list because I, I gave you my list i gave you my list um, well no i can tell ones, you the ones that i'm going to be playing uh, i think i pretty much gave you it i also have a couple of spooky ones but i'm aiming to do a live stream with those and that's welcome uh, to elderfield okay. grimshire um well, my party needs an alchemist we'll get there though um but mirthwood yeah. is on my yeah. to to playlist you know that one. Oh yeah oh oh and yeah I have two for Scaredy Cat. Um, I played the demo for Locomotive, which is, it, like we talked last time about um, Maniac Mansion, it brings me back to those point-and-click murder mystery vibes I love so much. Oh, right, yeah. It's cute. Locomotive has been on my wish list for years. It was announced at, like, a, an E3 a long time ago. Oh. Um, and then there's one called Neuromore Academy. Um, it's also huh. kind of spooky. I can't, I'm going to play the demo for Scaredy Cat on that one too. So those are my, you should just, you should just like send me all these names. Like just send me a list in a DM okay. or something. <laughs> <laughs> we'll one that I think, I think might be up your alley is Cosmic Horror Tales. Oh. So this is a top down action RPG about a farmer searching for his chicken on the edge of a town filled with horrors beyond human comprehension. Oh, hilarious. And that's that's literally it. It is going to be an EA. There's no release date yet. Developer publisher is the same. It's called, they are Moss Tower. They don't have any other games on here. The demo is available. I know nothing else about it, but I saw this and I thought of you when I saw it. <laughs> so <laughs> I love it. maybe something that might be up your alley. <laughs> something to add to your list. <laughs> Oh, 100%. But, yep. Yeah, but I think that's it. I think we're I think we're pretty wrapped, right? Yeah, I think so. But uh yeah, thank you guys so much for hanging out with us for another awesome podcast. And thank you so much. This was great for being here. This was so much mm-hmm. fun. <laughs> and this was Cozy's <laughs> idea. Demos. Thanks for this Yay! Cozy. This is a great this is a great chat. I try. I try. I was like reaching too. I was like, man, the spoop the spoopy one was like easy. It, it was, was like right there. It was low hanging mm-hmm. fruit. But I was like, this one, what's something we talk about all the time? Backlogs. <laughs> Backlogs. Yeah, we do. <laughs> Backlogs. So anyways, but glad glad you enjoyed it. It was fun. It was fun. Yeah. So anyways, but again, thank you guys. Wishing you all a cozy rest of your day, wherever you are. Thank you for hanging out with us today. And uh, we'll see you in the next podcast. Bye. See you in the next podcast. Bye, guys. Ha, ha, ha.